All right, so this video is going to be part one of a three-part series in which I'm going to be reviewing and sharing my thoughts on this book titled White Moon on the Mountain Peak, The Alchemical Firing Process of Nadon, which is written by Damo Mitchell and published by Singing Dragon. And since this is a very detailed and uh, specific book, I'm going to need to break it up into three parts just because there's a lot in there, there's a lot to go over. So what I want to do in this video is just share with you very briefly and quickly my first initial thoughts and impressions from just getting the book, reading a few chapters and sort of just flipping through and looking at some of the pictures and the charts and looking at the glossary and just getting a big, big picture of the book. And the first thing that I noticed in my first uh, response and impression was that <laughs> I'm just really blown away that a lot of the stuff that's in the book is actually in the book. <laughs> Meaning it's actually written in a book, for one, and then widely available to anyone and everyone who could just go and purchase it. Because a lot of the stuff that's in there has not really ever been shared publicly before, and, it, and if it has, it hasn't been shared in such a way that's so detailed and specific and really easy to access and, and understand and start to, to work with. And the other thing that I like about it is it makes a lot of the stuff really accessible and it, uh, it has a very practical element to it. Because you could go to a bookstore, you go online and read books on Taoist alchemy or Nadon, and it's not necessarily that practical. It's a lot of alchemical language, it's a lot of imagery, it's a lot of metaphor and coded language that you kind of need someone there to translate it for you. And you can read about it and maybe, oh, that sounds really cool. Maybe I want to do this, maybe I want to do that. But sitting down and translating it into your actual experience is not always that easy, especially if you don't have a teacher there right with you. So that's what I like about this book in that it uh, makes a lot of the stuff really accessible and, and easy to understand and, and start to uh, allow us to apply it into our lives like now. And granted, that's only true for some things based on where we are in our own experience because, let's face it, Nadon is not a fast, quick and easy and super accessible process. It's really quite huge and quite long and really detailed and specific. So that's why I think this book is really uh, well, the only thing of its kind because of the number one, uh, the information that it contains, meaning stuff that hasn't been necessarily written before, and the way in which it makes it accessible and easy to understand. And the third thing is that even if we're not really, we don't even know what Nadon is, maybe we don't even practice it, maybe we're just starting to get interested in Chinese medicine or meditation or Qigong or something, there's a lot of stuff in the book which is beneficial and useful regardless. Uh, specifically the stuff talking about the Xing and the Ming, like our, our nature and our destiny, and that's really useful to pretty much anyone who's cultivating themselves for health or spirituality or both. And even the, the part where it's talking about, you know, cultivating a virtues of humility, humor, and compassion, and why those are important in Taoism, and why various spiritual traditions have certain virtues, and really just taking these things that are often so esoteric and just things that we're often just told, oh, just do it because it's good for you. But taking it and, and breaking down and explaining it, well, there's actually a reason. There's actually a functional, pragmatic process, which in my opinion and my experience is really more true to the Taoist way of things. It's not necessarily just do this because it's good for you or do it because we say, but here's the thing, here's why, here's how it makes sense, here's a practical pragmatic way of you know using this and, and looking at it here's where it's appropriate here's where it isn't very just grounded and uh and very just i don't know just makes sense to me it's just very common sense so those are my first initial impressions uh, obviously there's a lot more because uh you know there's some pretty amazing <laughs> uh charts in here that are broken down for example the Neijing 2 uh, or this other chart, which I'm not going to try to pronounce because I don't know the Chinese. Uh, basically, if to most people and to pretty much probably everyone in humanity, you look at something like this and it just is 
makes no sense at all. It's just complete, like, I mean, it just is a bunch of gobbledygook for a lack of a better word, but uh, in the book, Damo really starts to break down, okay, this is actually what it is and what it means, and it's really not that crazy after all. So anyways, those are my first initial impressions. I would say if you are interested in Taoism or meditation or Qigong or any of these things, it's definitely a book to at least read to go to the bookstore and check and flip through it and or at least buy it because even if you don't do nadon or alchemy a lot of the other things talking about the various virtues or talking about the you know the different like xing and ming that i was talking about and working with those things because those are universally applicable regardless so anyways the book is white moon on the mountain peak by damo mitchell and this is just part one as i read more and apply more and work with it more i will share more of my thoughts either way thanks for watching the video definitely check out the book and i will talk to you soon